Welcome to the pinnacle of filament respooling technology. Designed to be a tool, not a project. Introducing the Pastomatic. Its simplistic design allows for ease of printing and assembly, without the need for numerous parts to make it work. It has a self-reversing lead screw, creating the perfect spool every time. And it will fit on nearly any build plate on the market. 14608 2RS bearings. A drill with a quarter inch hex drill bit. A small piece of Bowden tubing. PLA plastic with the optional choice of TPU for one part. I wouldn't recommend printing with ABS because let's be honest, it's just a pain in the ass. First, gather all the parts you need for assembly. To start off, place the bearings inside the gears. You can use a rubber mallet to hammer them in, or you can just use your fingers. Now it's time to prepare the frame by dropping it on the floor. Only joking. When assembling the frames, make sure they're all pointing to the right to ensure the correct placement of the bearing pins. Insert the bearings into the open side compartments. Then, insert the short pins. Repeat this step for the other identical part. They should both look like this. Now, moving on to the other side of the frame. Insert the bearings and pins as before. Now it is time to insert the gears. Place them in this order. Now it's time to insert the first frame rod and connect the two rear frames together. Now grab the lead screw. This is the part responsible for distributing your filament evenly across the new spool. Pick up the lead screw block and slide it into the screw where it meets the reversing thread. Now place the lead screw guide into the block so it sits flush. Then, place the compression block inside to keep the screw guide in place. Place the lead screw assembly into the rear frame. Before assembling the front frame, you'll need to place the two filament guides on the rod. Once the guides are in place, insert the TPU wipers. The placement of these will depend on the size of your spool. Once this is ready, slide on both sides of the front frame. Now it's time to add on the filament you want to transfer across to the new spool. Use the spool holders to attach it to the frame. Keep in mind that your spool may not fit them, like mine, which is why I printed out these spool adapters. You can find these pretty easily on Thingiverse. Now the spool is ready. Place it on the frame with the filament coming from underneath. Adjust the wipers accordingly.
Now it's time to insert the Bowden tube to the filament guide. If you find it's a little too long, cut it off. Insert the filament into the tube. Insert the lead screw pin. Place the new spool onto the frame, winding the filament from underneath. Secure the filament into the spool any way you like. I put it into a small hole at the base of the holder and make a blockage at the end to stop it coming out. Make sure you manually roll about a meter or so of filament to ensure the filament doesn't come out when you use the drill. And now, your Pastomatic is ready. There are many add-ons you can apply to enhance the performance and usability of the machine, such as the motor attachment. These are all free to download and use. Thank you to the creator of the Pastomatic and the creators of all these amazing add-ons.